Now to more local coverage, learning about a rally this weekend to call attention to veterans issues in Rhode Island. Joining us live in studio, State Rep Bob Lancey of Cranston. Good morning. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, just very quickly, uh, thank you for having me on today. Yeah. Um, tomorrow at uh, 3 p.m. Uh, on the back lawn of the State House, uh, we're going to be having a rally uh, for, again, as you said, veterans issues. I, I put in a package of legislation this past year and actually at the beginning of the year uh, put in a resolution that did pass the House calling designating 2016 as the year of the veteran and so we have a package of legislation we're trying to push through and looking for veterans to come rally in support of that legislation. Why did you feel the need to bring attention to this now? I know it's obviously an important issue uh, honoring veterans, taking care of them, especially when they come home from the battlefield. So why now though? Well, it's a great point. Uh, General Centracchio, who I know has been on your show yes. earlier, made the point that we've been trying to pass uh, legislation for veterans pensions for 40 years. Wow. And we believe it's time. And also, I joke, because I'm a freshman Republican from Cranston, but I joke to my uh, Congressman Cicilline and Congressman Langevin uh, from the opposite party. I said, you know, you want to support me on this, because in 2020, if we don't get our population up around, we're going to lose a congressional seat. So if we can keep population in the state, such as veterans, we can get our numbers up and save a congressional seat by 2020. So I tease them. I say, <laughs> you know, you want to yeah. support this legislation. And also, you're going to win the seat anyway. And how will this uh, legislation benefit Rhode Island veterans uh, specifically? Sure. Specifically, it, it exempts uh, from the military pensions from Rhode Island income tax. So it's okay. for them. So it's great for them. And in addition, we have a couple other issues that we have. We have one to create a million dollar fund for returning veterans to start businesses with conscientious service. A third initiative I've done, 3% contracting preference for veterans, which has already passed the Senate. And the fourth one, gold style license plates for uh, families who've lost uh, a service member. So I've kind of, you can't package legislation, but I've kind of packaged those four bills together. And that's really what we're rallying in support of. And a lot has to do with transitioning veterans from when they're uh, you know, on the battlefields and coming back. And as you mentioned, you know, maybe perhaps opening a small business. Is, are, is it too restrictive now? Is it, are there too many hurdles to clear for veterans to sort of integrate back into the uh, normal society, as we like to call it? Well, it's a great question because, you know, most people think most of the military members coming back are damaged, but, you know, there are a lot of folks who are just looking for an opportunity. And so to provide money uh, for stop business, first thing, really, probably the number one need is capital, startup capital. But then you want them to be successful, so by offering concierge service, you give an opportunity to use that money wisely. And even though the bill costs up to 50 $50,000 in loans, the average loan according to the SBA would be only ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. So we could help a lot of returning veterans. And we are now have a lot of returning veterans because the wars are ending. Quickly, tell us again about the event that you were talking about at the beginning of this. Sure. Tomorrow, 3 p.m., Tomorrow. back loan of the State House, okay. uh, rallying in support. We'll have a band. We'll have hopefully a little fun, a few speakers. And, you know, it won't be a long event, but I think it'll be a great event. And just, you know, let the leadership know that um, it's time to help our veterans. All right, Bob, thanks so much for coming in this morning. For more information on this weekend's event, go to our website, WPRI.com.